Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Spike, the penguin with rainbow hair. Written by Sarah Collin and Carmen Alice. Illustrated by Susanna Azubadova. Two penguins watched on as their egg gave a shake. It wiggled and wobbled and started to break. Then out came a baby so cute and so small. It was love at first sight for this little fur ball. Soon, all of the penguins came over to stare, for this little penguin had colorful hair. Just what shall we call him? What name do you like? With a mohawk like this one, his name should be Spike. They both loved his mohawk. It made them feel proud. Poor Spike, though, preferred to blend in with the crowd. When all eyes were on him, his tongue tied in fear. He started to wish that it would disappear. Spike went on a mission to find a nice shell. I think with a shell, I could hide my hair well. He jumped in the sea for a quick look around and picked up a beautiful shell from the ground. He loved his new hat, which he matched with a bow. But the shell was so heavy, he sank in the snow. Feeling discouraged, he wailed with a pout. I want to blend in, but I keep standing out. With a sigh and a groan, he was trying to think. Perhaps I could dye my bright hair with squid ink. The squid ink might help me to turn my hair black. And then I would look like I'm part of the pack. He jumped in the sea in pursuit of a squid. So desperate to find one, and finally he did. In the blink of an eye, the new job was complete. He liked his new style and he thought it looked neat. Oh, what a surprise! It was just as he'd feared. When he came to the surface, it all disappeared. He felt so alone and he started to shout. I want to blend in, but I keep standing out. Poor Spike was so sad. He cried out in despair. He thought to himself, I will cut off my hair. Oh, what a relief that his dream would be real, as all he would need was a talented seal. A seal's teeth are pointy and sharper than shears. His head would be bald just as those of his peers. He knew of a seal that had sharp pointy fangs and proceeded to ask him to cut off his bangs. So what shall it be? A nice bob or a perm? No, cut it all off, he said sounding firm. That night he slept well in his cute penguin shack, but the very next morning his hair had grown back. Sad and defeated he went to his friends, so sick and so tired of hitting dead ends. What in the world can I do with these tresses? Does anyone know? Have you got any guesses? Don't you see that you have it all wrong? This is the way that we've felt all along. We love you so much and don't want you to change. Your hair is amazing. To us, it's not strange. He looked in the mirror and all became clear. His beautiful tresses were nothing to fear. Spike finally saw his own self through their eyes. 
he no longer wanted to be in disguise. Strutting his stuff with a heart full of pride, he realized now he had nothing to hide. Spike embraced life and he wanted to share. I'm proud I'm the penguin with colorful hair! Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!